Hey guys, Lone here, and for this week's video, um, I wasn't able to work on any art because my family figured, hey, it's a holiday week, come socialize. So, yeah, I didn't really get to work much on art this week. So, for this week's video, I decided to cover my last FAQ, which is, what do I color with? So, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for this week's video and hopefully next week I'll be able to finish up the last watercolor and hopefully upload that kind of as a bonus video for next week. So starting off, uh, 9 times out of 10 I will use Copic markers and while these are kind of dirty because I have yet to clean them. Um, I use both the Copic Chow and the Copic Sketch for my marker work, 9 times out of 10. Um, granted, as you guys know that have been watching me for a very long time, you guys know that these are not the only markers that I use, but most of the time they will be the markers that I use about 95% of the time. Another bit of stuff that I use as well. Um, is my Sakura Koi watercolors, which, as you guys can see, needs to be cleaned. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so they got some love this month. Woo! Um, I have other watercolors as well, but I'm only covering what I use 95% of the time. So, yeah! Um, if it's not if I have to do anything extra with the watercolor or my Copics, I also <laughs> use Prismacolor color pencils. I have two sets. I have the 24 set, and then I also have, which I have not used yet because these, this is a birthday gift, um, the 132 set of Prismacolor colored pencils. So, um... These I plan on using for fine detail work. These I hope to be able to use next month with uh, colored pencil month starting out. So, yay! Um, but yeah, I haven't used these at all yet since I've gotten them. So, or at least the 132 count. Uh, 24 count, I've used them quite a bit. And then if I need to kind of make it look a little softer or help with the the transition between colors blending. I also use the Artist Loft Pastels. I usually grab a box cutter or an X-Acto knife, shave off a little bit, and then with my finger, go ahead and smudge it in a little bit and make my artwork look a little bit prettier. So, yeah, that's essentially all I use for coloring 95% of the time. If you guys want to be able to see other items that I use, whether it be for doodles or whatnot, check out my art desk tours. So they will be in my video list. I think there's a playlist as well. I don't know. But, um, so as I was saying, yeah, yeah, it's not my mail. Yeah. Uh, as I was saying, December will be colored pencil month for me. And then starting in the new year, I actually plan on rotating um, the different mediums that I use. So one week will be Copic, one week will be Prisma, one week will be colored pencil. I haven't figured out what I'm going to be doing for that fourth week because as much as I would love to do digital, I don't have the capabilities to do that with my current computer. Um, so it might just kind of rotate where you get two of a certain type each month until I can somehow miraculously get my hands on some custom built computer that costs a butt, a uh, butt ton of money. So, yeah. So, uh, hopefully you guys can forgive me for not having a video this week. Um, and I will try to get my last watercolor picture up as soon as possible once I get that done. So... I will see you guys next week, hopefully with two videos and not just one. And um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. So I will see you in my next video next week. So I hope you guys had an awesome Thanksgiving here in the States. 
and um, yeah, might also end up doing my art desk tour video early this coming year of 2016 because of major changes that have happened with my desk. Um, especially if you guys see me or follow me on Twitter or Instagram, you guys have kind of already seen it, but even then I've adjusted it from what has been seen. So, I don't know. Let me know down in the description if you guys want to see an early desk, art desk tour for 2016. And, um, yeah, so I'll see you, like I was saying, in the next video. So, bye-bye.